was attending the leadership course provided by uh, Tom Brown and that was three days course and uh, we covered a lot of topics starting with uh, diversity uh, through communication, uh, negotiating and uh, leadership skills. For the Young Workers Project's usage of the uh, Fair Work Leadership and Equality programme, we ran a, a number of sessions entitled uh, Future Leaders Building Young Workers Confidence and Power, uh, where we looked at a number of different ways in which we could provide young workers with the uh, tools, tactics and confidence to sort of build their collective voices within their workplaces. The course I attended, organised by the EIS, was the Leadership Learning to Mobilise Anti-Racist Activism. Um, the course focused on the barriers faced by um, BAME teachers in challenging racism in education and the workplace and, and awareness raising for BAME educators and teachers. Um, and in particular for me, it was revisiting some of these uh, um, um, barriers in the theory of assimilation, colonialism, and um, how difficult that is sometimes in a... Um, in a very ethnocentric environment. I attended a Unite um, Leadership and Equalities course and in that course um, we looked at leadership styles, how is a leader different from a manager, um, we looked at how we build a team for a campaign, we had a brilliant talk from the organisers who gave us more of an insight on how to organise around an issue, especially during lockdown. I like this course because uh, it was challenging for me. Uh, so Tutor uh, didn't uh, give us everything uh, in easy way, so he gave us the base. I liked the course because it was a sort of mix of people, you know, it was a mix of people from different backgrounds, so it was nice to speak about equalities in an environment like that. What I liked about this training was that it gave me a forum to, you know, share and um, back my ideas and experiences. Programmes like this give us the opportunity to sort of explore both what young people are needing both um, and in terms of like how unions should be adapting to, to better suit young people going forward in the, in the job market and um, in employment more generally. Any time where we can get together and learn more about our rights as workers and just that reminder that we do deserve fair workplaces, we deserve to have, deserve to have a voice, we deserve to have recognition, we deserve to feel valued at work and feel safe. Um, Any time that you can talk about that is really important. The impact of this training on me is uh, really, really huge uh, because I am a shop steward at my workplace and also a brand secretary. So I'm using the uh, the skills that I thought uh, gained during that course uh, to support my members. So I think funding like this is really important because young people are experiencing an increased um, usage of sort of precarious and casualised employment and I think training opportunities like this uh, give, give us the opportunity to sort of develop young people's skills and tactics uh, in terms of build, building their sort of collective identity but also their leadership skills. Um, within a job market that is increasingly precarious and casualised and looks like it's going to continue on that, that vein. We did um, a segment on how you can respond to uh, troubling or problematic views or discussions or debates. So I learned a lot about my own sort of speaking style. Um, if somebody says something that challenges me, how I can respond to that. Funding for courses like that is uh, very important because it's uh, giving people opportunity to progress and that lead uh, that uh, I could apply for a better job and I and I was uh, su su and I succeed in that. Funding for these courses is absolutely essential because if there is not an arena or a forum for um, the very small percentage of um, BAME teachers particularly in Scotland, to have support, um, then how on earth is it ever going to be changed at societal level?